What's up guys, it's your boy Gong. Welcome back to another mod review video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the medium sheep shed and the water tap. So in front of us here, we have the water tap. Um, download size is gonna be two megabytes. Um, slot counts are gonna be two. And it, it costs 500 to purchase and it is a daily maintenance fee of $5 per day. Um, so basically, this is located under Placeables on the miscellaneous. All the way over, I have a lot of mods in here because this is my test map. And it's right there. Um, no options, just something you can place. And that's what it looks like. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect up to one of these um, trucks and get the water tanker on there and show you how it operates. And as you can see, the truck does have pig food because I'm going to be testing that um, pig shed here in a bit. So if you pull up to it, it's, it gives the option really quickly. You do on Xbox, you push the left joystick in. And it's filling. And that's it. That's the basic functionality of it. That's all it does. Um, good thing about this is you're able to place it close to other um, placeables. Like for this one, I actually place this in the spot right on the... Um, the squares where the sheep shed is and it worked perfectly all right so next we're going to be taking a look at the sheep shed sheep shed is nine megabytes in the um in the mod hub it takes up 22 slots it costs twenty five thousand. daily maintenance is 145 and it holds 40 pigs um, this is located under placeables under animal pens um, there are no options to it you can just you scroll to it select it where you want to place it and that's about it so let's go ahead now pull up to it and um test out just you know take a quick walk around where everything is and all of that stuff first off the um the trigger to purchase is right here on this side so if you're you know it's to the honest it is to the if you're considering this is the front of the, the shed or the, the pen, it's to the right side of the pen. So you walk up to it, you do you push the left joystick in, you purchase some pigs by pressing A and then press X to confirm. Now you have the pigs in here. Um, water trigger is also to the right of it. Let's show you here really quickly. Pulls up right there. It's that rectangle right there. Um, let us unload some water, RBNY, fills up right there, you see the animation, it actually shows like a fill level and everything, you can see that there's actually water in there. Um, next step is the, the food triggers on the inside, so I'm gonna attempt to maneuver inside of this building really quickly here, come on. So the food trigger is right over here. It's this rectangle right here. So if you pull up right there, you do R, B, and Y. It has to be kind of precise right there. R, B, and Y, it unloads the food right there. Um, the hay trigger is the one that's in front of the truck. I'm going to be showing you that in a second as well. That, is it hay? Straw. Straw for the bedding. So if we take a look in um, menu and go to the animals, we now see that by adding pig food which i just did it basically adds each one of these items here you can do those items individually or you can just purchase pig food which is what i did and um it it adds up to i think it should be a hundred percent effectiveness um a pro productivity i guess is what i'm the word i'm looking for stop unloading all right so let's take this back off and put the one with the, the straw in there show you how that works and then we'll take a look at the other points on the um, the actual um, shed itself. So let's get into this one right here. Let's do some mad reversing. See if I can actually get this reversed all the way back in there without driving forward. 
Nope, nope. All right, so this is your here, the, the straw trigger point. So again, R, B, and Y, and I keep saying here, it's straw. And that's for the bedding. So if we go back on the animals now, we see that the bedding is in as well, which is the straw. So the condition should be good. Productivity should go up to 100% based on the stuff we have in there, even though it's a minimal amount. Um, the, next, the next aspect of this is the manure point, which is here. So whenever they start producing manure, it goes here. And the slurry point is right here. Um, if we take a look right now, there currently no, there's no manure or slurry. But this is where the slurry would come out. If you have it, you pull up here with a truck with the, um, a slurry tanker on the back. You can pick it up there. Uh, manure, same thing. You pull up to here. You might have to scoop the manure in. That's one thing I didn't test. But those are the points. And that's basically it for this video, guys. It's a quick one. 